Hi everyone, welcome to Headache School. I am Dr. Rezdogru and we'll be talking about procedures in headache clinic tonight. There are uh, three main procedures we perform in headache clinics, onobotulinum toxin A, botox injections, peripheral nerve blocks, and trigger point injections. Onobotulinum toxin A or botox injections are approved by FDA in 2010 for chronic migraine. Uh, what is chronic migraine? If you have a diagnosis of migraine and you have been experiencing headaches more than 15 days a month and at least eight days um, uh, with migraine features and you have been having these headaches over three months, you have a diagnosis of chronic migraine. After trial of fifth medications, uh, you will be a candidate for Botox injections. Uh, we do third one injections and use 155 units based on the study called PREMT. Um, the study was done in 2010 and there are some additional studies since then um, actually comparing higher units to 155 and uh, we can apply some additional units uh, based on the patient uh, uh, headache presentation. Um, every vials of Botox has 100 units. To be able to have the 155, we have to open two vials of Botox, uh, which uh, we end up having 200 units for each patient. Uh, that extra 45 units, we can do some additional injections uh, based on patient needs. We repeat these injections every 12 weeks. You can start feeling the reduction of the frequency of migraine um, as soon as 7 to 10 days, but it might take up to the second injection cycles. Unfortunately, sometimes you don't get the benefit from um, Botox after the first injection and you might need to um, uh, have the second or even third injection cycles to get the full benefit from it. Botox has cumulative benefit, not cumulative side effects, meaning that the more injections, uh, injections you get, injection cycles, uh, the more benefit you get from it. Other indications to consider Botox are bruxism. If you are having like TMJ, masseter uh, pain, um, you are clenching your teeth at night, Botox can be beneficial. Trigeminal neuralgia, there are some studies showing that uh, Botox can be beneficial. Unfortunately, it's not FDA approved, so we won't be um, able to have um, receive an um, uh, approval from uh, the insurance. NDPH is a new daily persistent headache. It's a different headache syndrome. A headache starts one day and never goes away. If it is presenting in the um, uh, day-to-day uh, presentation like a migraine, um, then Botox can be considered. Same thing with persistent post-traumatic headache. Uh, even the etiology of your headache is the trauma, but if it is presenting like a migraine, then Botox injections can be considered. Um, the adverse effects are droopy eyelids, facial uh, asymmetry, or neck weakness. The ve neck weakness usually presents like a, a neck pain. These are temporary. They usually go away within uh, two weeks. There are certain muscle groups that we inject Botox, and um, these muscle groups you are seeing here are the ones um, that is the standard protocol, and every physician's provider who is uh, performing Botox for chronic migraine should follow this uh, protocol. Uh, let's talk about peripheral nerve blocks. Uh, I divided them into three, occipital nerve blocks, trigeminal nerve branch blocks, and SVG block. Uh, let's talk about peripheral nerve blocks. Uh, I divided them into three, occipital nerve blocks, trigeminal nerve branch blocks, and SVG block. Um, there are two occipital nerves that we can block um, because they become superficial um, on the scalp, uh, the greater occipital nerve and then the lesser occipital nerve. Trigeminal nerve uh, branch block. These are superficial trigeminal uh, nerve uh, branches that we can block. Um, the three main of them are the uh, supratrochlear nerve goes uh, through here um, and then the supraorbital and the uh, uh, auricular temporal. Um, again, we use the lidocaine and pubrocaine. We don't like to use steroid for these injections because the skin is very thin on those areas and it can cause scar. Um, so we uh, prefer staying away from steroid for these nerve blocks. Um, again, intractable migraine or chronic migraine with comorbid illnesses um, uh, can be indications for uh, these nerve blocks or hemicrania, um, hemicrania continua or paroxysmal hemicrania, trigeminal neuralgia, sunk suna cluster headaches are common headache types. 
um, frontal headache, any type of headache, but you are feeling severe uh, pain um, around the eyebrows, frontal area, that trigeminal uh, nerve branch blocks can be a good option to consider. Uh, Sphenic palatine ganglion block. Um, Sphenic palatine ganglion is this um, uh, ganglia in uh, the nose. Um, ganglia meaning it's like a station of the nerves. Um, and uh, when we block this nerve, numb this uh, ganglia with uh, 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 local anesthetics, it stops uh, releasing the neuropeptides and that can help to um, stop or prevent pain. Um, the headache syndromes, SVG block has been proven to be beneficial, are cluster headaches, um, trigeminal neuralgia, the facial pain, um, intractable migraine or chronic migraine, uh, hemicrania continua, um, and uh, at the University of Utah, uh, we use it for post-reduct headache as well. Um, we use transnasal approach. Um, there are specific um, uh, devices called Spenocat or TX. 360 or we don't um, uh, use those we just use a long q-tips with lidocaine gel and through the nose uh, we put these um, uh, the idea is kind of showering the sphenopalatine ganglia with the local anesthetics to um, numb it again stop the release of um, uh, neuropeptides and then uh, um, get the benefit of pain relief um, the uh, relief from any peripheral nerve blocks um, can be instant uh, usually before you leave the clinic you get the benefit from it the question is uh, how long they help um, it can help for days it can help for weeks or it can help for months based on the duration of benefits usually we make the decision about how are we going to use them are we going to use them for uh, rescue treatment for preventive treatment or we might not uh, consider trying it again with the SVG block, it's because it's through the nose, um, it can cause nosebleed. If you're on anticoagulation blood thinners, um, it can increase the risk of, risk of nosebleed. Uh, if you're, you have allergies, you might have swelling in the nose that can make it more difficult. Or if someone has history of facial trauma, uh, because the, the structure of the nose will be different, so we might not be able to uh, consider SVG blocks. Um, the headache syndromes, SVG block has been proven to be beneficial, are cluster headaches, um, trigeminal neuralgia, the facial pain, um, intractable migraine or chronic migraine, uh, hemicrania continua, um, and uh, at the University of Utah, uh, we use it for post-reduct headache as well. Um, we use transnasal approach. Um, there are specific um, uh, devices called Spenocat or TX. 360 or we don't um, uh, use those we just use a long q-tips with lidocaine gel and through the nose uh, we put these um, uh, the idea is kind of showering the sphenopalatine ganglia with the local anesthetics to um, numb it again stop the release of um, uh, neuropeptides and then uh, um, get the benefit of pain relief um, the uh, relief from any peripheral nerve blocks um, can be instant uh, usually before you leave the clinic you get the benefit from it the question is uh, how long they help um, it can help for days it can help for weeks or it can help for months based on the duration of benefits usually we make the decision about how are we going to use them are we going to use them for uh, rescue treatment for preventive treatment or we might not uh, consider trying it again with the SVG block, it's because it's through the nose, um, it can cause nosebleed. If you're on anticoagulation blood thinners, um, it can increase the risk of, risk of nosebleed. Uh, if you're, you have allergies, you might have swelling in the nose that can make it more difficult. Or if someone has history of facial trauma, uh, because the, the structure of the nose will be different, so we might not be able to uh, consider SVG blocks. This is all I have. Thank you everyone for joining me tonight and have a great night.